tip-ups. There's many ways to do it, and I'm gonna show you a couple. So I'm gonna pull three different tip-ups out. One, pat, two, pat. We'll go with this one, three, pat. So these are my three uh, main setups that I use every time I go out on lake, every time I go fishing. And uh, I'm gonna start with this one. But what a few things I wanna point out with just the tip-up itself that you can do on any tip-up that you buy. First thing I ever do, drill some holes. Right here, one on this side and one on this side very close to the edges of the bottom so that you can stick a hook in there, tighten it up, and then that way, when you wrap up your tip-ups at the end of the day, they're easily put away. There's nothing else to mess with. You just wrap it up in there, you put the hook in there, you tighten it down and put the flag in the hole, and boom, that tip-up is not getting tangled up. It's not coming undone. It is put away. That's uh, That would be my first tip with tip-ups. And my second tip is reflector tape. Absolutely get some reflector tape for your tip-ups. Not so that you can see them at night or anything, but other people driving on the lakes, snowmobiling, four-wheeling, can see your tip-ups. You can do what I did, just get some reflector tape, put it right on your flag, and then that way when uh, people are driving by and your tip-up's set up in the lake, they can see that reflector, they drive around it, they don't run it over. Time to get to the meat and potatoes of why I wanted to talk about this subject. This is my most successful setup in the last two years. This has caught most of my fish. It caught this one, pow, caught an hour later. This one, pow, biggest northerns of my life through the ice were caught on this setup right here. A quarter ounce bullet weight. You can go even heavier if you want. This is about a foot and a half liter and this is nothing more than some 17 pound mono filament. Uh, this is ultimate mono. It's thinner. I don't know, I don't know what their marketing is on this but it's um it's thinner than regular 17 pound mono for some reason but it sinks it uh it's very resistant to teeth marks and it is 17 pounds so i mean that's that's some real strong um um leader line i know a lot of people use six to eight when they're fishing for walleyes that's up to you but i've had uh northern's teeth go right through some of that six to eight so i like to run with the heavy 17. and i have tipped it with a single red hook i want to say this is a size six or eight i'm not sure but this this single hook i miss more fish with a single hook than you do a treble that's a fact palomar knot on one side palomar knot to the leader down to a hook nothing on that foot and a half foot and a half leader nothing so there's no fraying no nothing that are gonna is gonna scare fish away and with a heavy, heavy weight, that foot and a half is all that further the strongest minnow can swim. It's not pulling that weight through the water. So that's setup number one. I usually run uh, three different setups when I go out on the lake. And this is one of them. Single red hook. I mean, it doesn't have to be red. Use whatever kind of hook you want. These were on sale that day. Small, single hook on a, on a, on a, on a monofilament leader with a real heavy weight just above it. That is setup number one. One. <clears throat> the second setup. <sighs> People swear by this second setup. Um, I, I, I look online, I look on forums, I see this recommended a lot, but I'm going to be honest, I have caught exactly zero fish on this setup in two years. I have gotten exactly one flag on this setup in two years. But with how many people swear by it, I gotta keep running it every weekend. So I put this tip up down every weekend as well. And that is your standard beads and spinner with a small treble hook. And I switched everything over to the new leaders and the new heavier weights on the main line. But this setup, I mean, people absolutely swear by this for walleyes. They will run nothing else but this out on the lake. Uh, I've seen it on countless forums. But like I said, it's been two years. I have caught zero fish. Um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. That is setup number two that I run on the lake. I run a different setup on all of my tip ups in different depths. So I'm maximizing my odds of getting a bite. But same exact concept though. I have that heavy quarter ounce bullet weight on the main line to a swivel down to about a foot and a half 
17 pound monofilament leader and then I just I'm just tipping it with different things and this specific setup is the beads and spinner just I just I just wish I could tell you I caught a fish on it but I haven't yet let's check out setup number three setup number three is uh almost identical to setup number one the only difference being this one instead of a single hook it is a size 10 treble hook that's it that's the only difference same weight leader same everything it just has a very small small treble hook on it instead of a single hook and uh I'm, this is very successful it has a much higher hookup rate because of the treble but when fish are being very very picky about what they're eating they they'll either see or feel that trouble and spit that minnow right back out or not every not ever bite it so that's why i like running at least one of the single hook setup and then also my third tip up will be running with that very small treble so that's usually what i go out on the lake with um like i said at the beginning of this video the only tips that i really have when it comes to tip of fishing because it's all so similar like i can't go over oh this is how you set up a tip up because you just reel the line on put a leader on it and tip it with something um and you can tip it with anything i know people that use um spoons with a minnow on the bottom for their tip ups you can use pretty much anything the minnow is what is the key so really the only actual tip up tips that i have for you is drilling that hole to secure your hooks and throwing that reflector tape on your flags so that people don't run them over but those are my, when I go out on the lake, I run all three of these. Not so much Minnesota, unless I have friends with me. Because you only have two lines in Minnesota, which is, it's really quite frustrating. We should really change, should really work on that law in Minnesota. Tip up fishing is really simple. It's, it's all about reading that lake map, picking your spots, and uh, hoping the fish swim by. So those are my three main setups that I run on any given day on all my tip ups. I hope it, it helps you decide what you want to put on. Out of all three of these setups, the single hook is the least popular with everyone that I know and anyone that I go fishing with, which is crazy to me because this has literally been my most successful setup. But uh, I'll probably be doing more of these tip videos than I normally do in the winter. Um, so if you have any questions or you guys want tips on anything else or equipment I use and how I feel about stuff, comment below. Let me know what you want me to do a video on. I'll absolutely get out there and uh, try to make a video for you if I know the subject. If you're asking questions about astronomy, I'm not going to be able to help you. Just throwing that out there. But thank you all for watching. Comment below. Let me know how you guys feel about these three setups. Which one is your favorite? Click the little I right here. I'll put a little thing. You can click it. Click it right here and uh, vote on what your favorite setup is and what you're most successful with or what the factors are that you use when you go out tip up fishing. But thank you all for watching Sergeant Outdoors. Go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button down over here. Vote up over here. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. As always, I'll see you guys on the ice. Hoo-yah!